Hi, and welcome to the introduction of Mocha 5 and VDI. So what is VDI? Well, VDI is you know fairly classic outline, is a big server stack and connected via fiber channel to a storage area and network. And it's kind of a return to the mainframe. You just connect in and uh, everything uh, is run via some kind of streaming mechanism. So that's what VDI is, but we often forget why VDI exists. So there's really one of three reasons, right? So the first is security. We've got all of these laptops that are out there running around. I'm not sure I can trust them. They're unencrypted. Oh, I'm worried about it. Two, manageability. How do I update those endpoints when they're remote? Bring it in the data center. It's easy, right? And then enablement. There's new ways of working that are enabled by having your desktop in the data center. You don't have to worry so much about deploying those out to, say, contract to BYO machines. So VDI exists for these three reasons. We looked at this from Mocha 5's point of view and said, we really like the idea of these three things. We agree with them, but we think it should look slightly different. So let's have a look at what Mocha 5 looks like. So in the Mocha 5 world, what we do is we have a server, but it's very different because it doesn't execute anything. All we do is we take a VM from within our command and control module and we copy it down to the endpoint. Now the VM's at the endpoint, it executes there. So it uses the CPU, the memory, the network of the endpoint. It's not never act, actually executing in the data center. All that command and control console does is just basically make sure that we continue to secure and manage those endpoints. So it's a very different model to VDI, and there's a different cost basis, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But let's talk about the three things that we wanted to try and achieve. Security, enablement, and manageability. Let's have a look at the first of those, security. Now, Mocha 5's VMs, they're encrypted when they come down. In fact, we put them in a container and you can't get access to that container without uh, your username and password. Second factor also. Basically, it's encrypted with AES-256. We have 130 policies that control how that container interacts with the environment around it. And then there's two very important things. We have the ability to revoke. In other words, it's still there, but you can't get to it and kill, wipe it from the host machine altogether. So basically we take a traditional Windows metaphor and we put it in a container and then we make it much more secure by using these different devices. So yes, we do it differently from VDI, but don't confuse us with the traditional endpoint, we've improved that security. Now let's look at the second, manageability. So one of the traditional problems with a Windows laptop is provisioning it. We've all done this. We join a company and it takes two weeks until my laptop turns up because there's a three week turnaround on building a machine. Well, Mocha 5 containers can be deployed via USB or over the network very, very easily. It's a one time process. Um, you're up and you're running uh, in some cases in minutes. You can deprovision. We already talked about that kill functionality. Very, very easy to do that with Mocha 5. And using Mocha 5's layering technology, you can update the VM. So inside the Windows instance itself, you can do a disk level delta which will update Windows. Also gives you the fringe benefit of being able to self recover or rejuvenate as we call it, to get you back to the last known good corporate state. But then the third point is enablement. So the nice thing about enablement, maybe it's contract to BYO, employee BYO, joint ventures, mergers and acquisitions, remote access, mobile workforce, right? So when you work in a VDI world, you can do all of these things, but it comes at a cost, right? And to do this, I like to give an example. Mocha 5's cost basis is very different from VDI. It doesn't matter how good you get your VDI cost basis, it won't compare with Mocha 5, and here's why. Think of a very large oil and gas company, one of the biggest in the world. They've got 60,000 contractors and they decide they want to do contract to BYO. Those contractors, they're bringing their own laptops in anyway, so they might as well utilize them. So if I choose to go down the VDI route, I'm going to shoot. So they say $1,000 a pop for those laptops. So at $60 million, I'd be spending every three years. Okay, I'm going to go VDI. Maybe I can cut it down to 50 million if I'm going with persistent desktops in VDI infrastructure. Okay, so that enables new ways of working. Great, so that meets the criteria. But now look at it through the Mocha 5 prism. With Mocha 5, what you're going to do is you're going to use their hardware that they bring in. You're going to deploy a container. We've already talked about the fact that one server can handle 14,000. So st stack a few of those together. That's just 20, 30 grand in hardware infrastructure. So you're telling me I don't have to spend $60 million on an endpoint. 
and I have virtually no spend in the data center. So I'm now enabling, but I'm enabling and saving IT $60 million. That is the big difference in the Mocha 5 approach. Okay, let's move on and have a look at uh, Mocha 5 bare metal for corporate assets. All right, Ian, you've sold me. Containers, it's all about containers, they're the way of the future. But what am I going to do for my corporate real estate? I don't want to be in a situation where I'm managing an operating system underneath and then I put a container on top because that doubles my workload. That doesn't make any sense. Well, we at Mocha 5 have already thought about that. What we've done is we've created an operating system. It's our operating system. All it does is run the container. So what you might do is buy a machine from Lenovo or Dell. You get it and you install our operating system, USB or DVD, usual kind of thing, right? You could do it by Pixie if you wanted to. And when it boots up, all it does is present you with a UI for running the containers, right? So it's this great environment that enables you to get the benefit of security and management, but on that corporate real estate. So what we've talked about today is we've talked about VDI. We talked about the benefits of VDI and, uh, you know, security, maintainability, and that enablement. We've talked about enablement when you put things on top of another operating system. And we've also talked about how we can better secure and manage your corporate real estate. You need to have Mocha 5 in your organization. If you're thinking about VDI, you should be thinking about Mocha 5 as a better way forward. Don't delay, call today.